Hey everyone, in this tutorial what we're going to be doing is applying some custom eye makeup to this model here and then I'm going to be showing you how to save that uh, makeup as a template uh, so it can be reapplied to uh, future images. Okay, so we'll get started off by going into the makeover section here and you can see I've already applied some nice uh, eye makeup to our model here. Uh, it's fairly natural looking just to bring out the eyes a little bit more. Um, there's some nice natural uh, dark purple and brown uh, eyeshadow there. Just some very light, light eye makeup just to really pop out the eyes a bit more and um, I also darken the eyebrows as well to emphasize the angles of the uh, eyebrows there as well. So uh, we'll get started right away. Um, notice that this, this uh, image has already been fit. So if you go to the fitting section, you can see the fitting has already been taken care of here. If you want to learn more about how to uh, fit the uh, facial features, you can actually check out our getting started tutorial for face filter three. Uh, but we're just going to move right on to the makeover section here. And what I'm going to do to start off is I'm going to double click this, uh, if I select the eye makeup section here and I select this uh, no effect uh, thumbnail here, that's going to remove all of the eye makeup that I've previously applied to this model here. So we're going to start from scratch. Let's go over to the eyebrows first, select the eyebrows, and I want to select a female natural uh, template since we're going to try to maintain a more natural look uh, in this image um, for now. So I'm just going to select this uh, Jessica template here. You can see that darkens the eyebrows there a little bit, adds a little bit more emphasis to the uh, lines um, of the eyebrows. And of course you can increase the level as well, darken that. Um, the overall strength of the effect can be increased as well. Notice that it maintains uh, some nice, uh, if I zoom in really close, you can see it maintains some nice uh, uh, natural looking fibers there. Um, eyebrow hairs in the template. So what I can do is just maybe uh, decrease that strength a little bit and I don't have to be too dark. And of course, you can actually go in and adjust the color as well. If I wanted to uh, select a different color from the color swatch here, I'm just select a darker, darker brown here, something like that. And you can see the effect that has just a very slight uh, effect on the color of the eyebrows there. All right, so let's move on to the next step. I like to apply the uh, eyeliner first. So if we go to the uh, eyeliner icon here, we'll select that. And for example, for this one, like I mentioned before, we don't want to have anything dramatic or vintage for now. What I want to do is just select a uh, regular uh, regular stroke here and we'll select uh, something like this uh, outer corner A. All right, this is a very typical uh, eyeline template. You can see it just adds a little bit more uh, strength onto the uh, lines of the outer outer eyelashes there, sorry, the outer uh, eyelid. And of course I can uh, increase the strength of that as well if I want, depending on how extreme you want to go here. I always want to keep it natural, not too dark. Uh, for now and that's about all we'll do for the eye lines. Okay so now we'll go back again and we'll go to the eyelashes next. Now keep in mind for each of these uh, for each of these different uh, eye features you can actually save each one as an individual template by just going to the save icon here and if you only wanted to apply that eyelash setting then you can save the separate uh, eyelash setting in the custom folder here and it should appear in this uh, in this tab here. But for this uh, tutorial, we're going to actually just save the entire eye makeup template and apply it to a, the same model in a different image. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just select a, uh, we'll just select a regular eyelash template here. Maybe something like this uh, mascara upper. Okay, that allowed a little bit more, a uh, bit more thickness to the outsides of her uh, eyelashes there. And of course we can increase the thickness a little bit, um, increase its overall strength. Um, maybe that's a little bit too much. Normally 65 to 75 range is, is fairly good if you want some more natural look. You can see now we've already added a lot more strength to her eyes. They're, they are a lot more noticeable. Um, so what we're going to do next is just go on to the eyeshadow. Now the eyeshadow is where I'm going to customize a little bit here. So in the eyeshadow, we'll just go to the eyeshadow's main folder here. And what I want to do is just apply an, uh, an intelligent looking uh, template. These ones are fairly light. Um, for example, if I go back to the uh, dramatic folder here and I selected something like Emo Violet, that'll be really heavy makeup. It's not really suitable for this uh, particular image, it looks a little bit off. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back to eyeshadow, we'll select Intelligent and maybe use this Flash Brown. This is a very subtle uh, light brown makeup there that uh, appears in the, uh, on the uh, around the eye here. Okay, so you can notice that of course there's one, two, three, four, five different uh, five different levels here and of course you can add more levels here as well if you go to your layer settings. There's a couple of other uh, layers that you can add like glitter, shade D and shade C. We're just going to re um, remain with these uh, selected five layers for now though so we want to keep it uh, simple. Uh, so what I'm going to do is if I select this uh, 
masking tool icon up here, you can see that uh, you can see where each um, eye makeup level is being applied. So shade A, for example, is being applied to the outer eye there. Shade B is a little bit closer into the eyelid and a little bit darker as well. Pay attention to the level, the thickness of the color in the uh, masking tools indicator there. And the corner, the inner corner of the eye. And notice the color of that is, is fairly white because we want to um, kind of brighten that area up. As well as the brow bone. The brow bone is quite light as well because we want to emphasize that brow bone. And you can see the result in the image on the right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the uh, foundation, or sorry, rather the shade A there. And you can see the shade A color is kind of a light, light brownish color there. If I wanted to, I can darken that up a little bit. Maybe bring the color swatch down a little bit. And you can see the effect that that has. It kind of darkens the eyes a little bit, but that's not really what we want. We want to keep it a more natural, uh, lighter appearance. So we'll go back to up to the original brown color there, and that will apply the uh, that um, color to the eyes as well. All right, now if I want, I can actually use my brush tool here. And I'm going to add a little bit of strength onto the. Uh, I'm going to sharpen the eyes, kind of lift the eyes, um, give the eye eyeshadow a wing uh, coming out here. I'm um, just to kind of lift up the corners of the eyes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually use my brush tool and I'm going to kind of just paint along here, along the outer edge there. And you can see the effect that that has on the uh, eyes, on the uh, image on the right there. So of course I can maybe even uh, do another quick layer there and just darken that up a little bit more. And you can see the effect that that has on my, on my eye there. All right, now what I want to do is maybe kind of erase the edges of that. For this, I want to increase the brush size and kind of just blend along the, uh, the edge right there. I don't really want to focus on kind of triangulating that outer corner there. Okay, so you can see that's a fairly natural looking uh, um, wing there. Kind of gives the eye a little bit of a lift. Of course, I can even do that further, size it further like that. And there you go. That's the result of my, uh, my eyeshadow manipulation there. All right, so you can see I have a fairly nice looking natural eye makeup here. It's very suitable for, uh, for this type of image. It's very light, um, you know, spring or, or early uh, fall kind of image. Um, and what I want to do now is I want to save this as an eye makeup template. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go back into the uh, beauty center here and select this eye makeup here, the eye makeup title bar. And what I want to do is just select this uh, save button. And once I do that, it'll render the image and I can save it as a custom template. So let's save it as natural 01. Okay, so that'll be our uh, first saved eye makeup template. All right, so now, uh, for example, if I had other images in this in the same photo shoot that I wanted to apply the same type of eye makeup template to, I can go ahead and do that. So for example, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open a, another project here. I'm just gonna go over to my uh, projects here and you can see I have eyes too dot uh, face filter project. I'm just going to drag that into my face filter here. Minimize, uh, go to my face filter here. We don't want to save this project for now. We don't need to save it. We already have the custom eye makeup uh, template saved. So what this is going to do is it's going to load in this, uh, this face filter project here. And the reason I'm using, I'm loading in a project is because it has already been, uh, the fitting has already been taken care of again. Make sure you, uh, of course, fit your images each time. And if I go over to the makeover section, you can see that there has been no facial makeup applied whatsoever. So what I need to do, if I want to apply the same makeup template that I previously created, the only thing I need to do is go over into my eye makeup section here. And in the custom tab, I just need to select, double click the uh, natural 01. And that'll apply the exact same eye makeup template that I have previously applied to my other image. And so, for example, this is a great, uh, great tool to use if you have uh, numerous uh, images in the same photo shoot, uh, like I mentioned, for example. And that's all you really need to do is you, you make up that eye template. You can spend as much time as you want on it and just reload it in for every image once the uh, fa uh, facial features have been fit. All right, so thanks for watching this tutorial and hopefully you have fun in the future beautifying your own images.